Hello. Today we're looking at the Casio FX991EX ClassWiz Scientific Calculator, and I am going to be showing you how to use the statistics menu to enter data and then find statistics on it, and then also to visualize it because the ClassWiz has a QR code that allows you to visualize and do some regressions. So that's where we're going to go with this. So you have um, the Casio. The calculator's over here. This is the emulator software. And I like to use the emulator software with my students because I can then demonstrate very quickly with the QR code visuals. Even if they have their own little handheld calculator, they can see a visual as well. So it's really nice that way. They could find the QR on their own if they were on the handheld and had a QR reader, but it's really nice to everyone does the work on the calculator and then the whole class, we can look at the visual representation. So one of the places I like to get some data from, real world data, is uh, this place called the Eeps Data Zoo. And it has um, lots of different data. You can see lots of different data sets here. But one of my favorites is roller coasters. So I'm going to use this. There's lots of things you can do. This is 15 um, roller coasters from around the world, um, though it looks like mostly they are in the United States. Well, great America. and. You know, it's comparing their largest drop, their height, their length, their top speed. And notice that some of them are hyper coasters, some of them are looping, twisting, some are steel, some are wood. So there's lots and lots of things you could do with this data. You could look at the largest drop comparing steel to wood or, and, you know, is wood higher, those types of things. So great things that you can do. I'm just going to pick what I think is a pretty logical one. Um, does the, the height of the... Or actually, yes, does the height of the roller coaster impact the speed of the roller coaster? Is there a relationship to that? So that's what I'm going to be looking at, height and speed. Just to demonstrate how to use the scientific calculator, the class whiz here, to, to enter the data. So this is a menu-driven calculator. So here's my menu, so you can see the different menu options. And we want to get into, and I'm just using my arrow keys, statistics. I could have also hit just six. Once I find it, I hit equals to get in, and then I have to choose what kind of relationship I think my data represents. So I'm looking at height and speed, and I'm going to make an assumption or a, a conjecture that the, this might be linear. So as I increase in height, I'm going to increase my speed. That's just a conjecture. So we're going to choose number two. So once you've decided what you're going to do, I'm going to hit two, and then I'm going to enter my data. So I'm going to use X. I'm going to assume X is my dependent, uh, I mean independent variable. So I'm going to enter the height and notice that they've already got the height in uh, numerical order here. So as I do this, all I'm doing is entering the numbers that I see in the data. So this is manual entry. And then once the number is there, I hit the equal sign, which sets it. So that is what I am doing here. I'm going to pause this so that you don't have to sit here and just watch me enter and then I will come back when I'm finished. So I've entered my data so you can see it's all 15 sets and again I'm using the independent variable is uh, x which I'm using as height and the dependent variable y is speed. So now I've entered that, and if I go over here to options, what are some of my options that I can do? I can do the two variable calculations. So let's do that first, just so you can see that you can do, um, oops, let's go back. Let's do that again, option, and I want to hit three here. So three, and so it's giving me the, so remember X is my height, so the average height is 165. Um, so all there's my statistics and my Y's. So that's one thing you can do. I can go back to options and do a regression calculation. But what I, so let's do that. Let's hit four. And so here's the regression. Remember, I chose ahead of time that uh, I thought it would be a linear relationship. So this is giving me the linear regression. And so it's saying that uh, the slope is 0.23 and the coefficient is 25. So what does that look like? So what happens in most scientific calculators, you'll get these statistics and students don't really know what that means, can't understand the visualization of it. So this is where it's really nice 
we have in this calculator the QR code. So notice it's yellow above the options. We're going to hit Shift, QR. We're going to go to that, and what's going to happen is going to create a visualization of that. And so here is the regression again so that I can see it better. Let's hit All Clear. And now we're in our table, let's do the QR code again. So whatever window you're in, you're gonna get a different visualization. So now we're in the table, so our visualization is going to be the table and a graph. So I'm gonna do Shift QR again. Here's where it's really nice using the emulator software. If you were a student, you would get this on your screen, and if you had a phone or something that could read your QR, you could see it on your phone. But as a teacher using this, I can just click up here and it brings up the visualization very quickly for me. So notice, this is what I love, is here's my table again, so it's like bigger and everything, but over here is my data. And I assumed, made an assumption that this was going to be linear. It looks very linear. Notice that it's a scatter plot right now, and but now I can choose which kind of regression I feel like fits this data. And so I'm going to choose this one here, which is pretty, uh, pretty close if we zoom in. So you have different options here, but this now then when we go back, so we've got this visualization up here. And when we go back to um, our calculator and go to options again and do the regression, now we can talk about what is this A? What is this B? Where is that represented on this graph? So some great ways to use the FX991EX and the QR code and the visualization to work with statistics and uh, regressions.